patch 27.4 it's bringing anomalies to constructed so for the first time ever actually maybe not but who know who, who knows and who cares and no nobody asks constructed is going to copy battlegrounds and they're going to have anomalies i mean knowing the constructed player base they're probably not going to be happy with anomalies the battlegrounds players are a little bit on the edge like personally i feel anomalies are good but they can also tilt you but if you go into playing the game with the mindset of like not getting tilted they're fun for the casual players they're fun so i guess that's why they're doing it in constructed as well so i'm happy to see that actually now let's get to the bread and butter the battlegrounds updates first of all we have an update to the damage cap the damage cap now persists for all players until top four i like that i think it's good I, I obviously like that because it benefits me because like so many times my nightmare is being 22 health somebody dies and then I get slapped for 25 where if the damage cap would persist until top 4 because I have 22 health I get rewarded for that now you're gonna have less situations where you are the high roller of the lobby and you get to kill 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 everybody but you're still dealing 15 damage so I think that's okay We've heard a lot of feedback from the community that the system was not fully achieving the goal, so now we're expanding it further. We'll closely monitor this change and make additional changes as needed. Amazing. Happy they're doing that. New anomalies. The following anomalies will be added throughout the patch. So, I think the first two or three we're getting uh, in the next patch, so tomorrow or today. Uh, at the start of each turn, spin the wheel of Yorks are on dev comment each turn the wheel is spawn spawn is this even a word anyway and the and one result is chosen for all players i love this i love every single player getting the same result great decision great anomaly super hyped for it start of combat give your leftmost and give your leftmost minion divine shield and your rightmost minion reborn wow I like it. <laughs> it's going to make games pretty crazy. Um, minions cost two gold. You cannot refresh the tavern. It refreshes itself after you buy a minion. Okay. That's also fun. Holy moly. Stupid. Stupid but fun. Just like me. Guess which player will win the next combat if you're correct. Get free gold. What? No way. Oh my god, this is going to be my nightmare. I never get those correctly. Oh my god. This is going to be a leveling clown fiesta. And I'm all for it. After you upgrade the tavern, discover a tier 1 Dark Moon Prize. Improves in 3 turns. Okay. After you win a combat, discover a minion of your tier. Otherwise, get a random one of a tier lower. So it incentivizes you to win. So this might be like people staying a little bit more on Tavern 1. Huh. Okay. After each combat, remove your Warband. Start of your turn, triple your gold. Wait, what? After each combat, remove your Warband. So you, you lose the board. Okay. Start of the turn, triple your gold. Huh? So your gold does not carry over. You just triple it. So, like, on turn 1, you have 9 gold. On turn 2, you have 12 gold. And then you have 15. And then late game, you have 30 gold. You have to spend the money to make a board. You can also buy minions. Hold them. And then go for a more explosive turn. Kind of crazy. We'll see how it plays out. But it's a little bit too crazy even for me. Start of the game, all players discover a tier 6 minion from the same choices. Okay. And you get to play it on one. Ah! So everybody gets the same three choices. I like this. Start at 5 health and 5 gold. 5 health? Huh? Your hero can only take one damage at a time. Okay, 5 health plus armor. I think you're not gonna have armor, are you? Or, wait, 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 wait. Maybe you're gonna have armor, but with armor you take normal damage, and then only when it uh, reaches your health, you take health damage. 
but there's no way you're gonna be able to have uh for example patchwork and have like take 30 hits to die we'll see i really doubt people are gonna have 17 armor here because then the game would go like forever there's no way there's no way there's no way minions in the tavern each randomly gained town wind fury divine shield or reborn pretty boring but okay, we need a little bit of boring with like how crazy these anomalies are. All minion types are in the tavern. It always has seven minions. The tavern special. Somebody was saying that they can do something like all the minions have all the types. That's also something that they could do. Start of your turn, give minions in the tavern plus one plus one for the rest of the game. Huh. Nice. I like it. Very, very nice anomalies. Overall, really nice and creative. Can't wait. So we're probably going to get the first free next week. I mean, next patch, sorry. So tomorrow. Crazy. Should be fun. Anomaly updates. A fair reward anomaly now upgrades every five turns instead of every four turns. And appears less frequently. So they're not removing the stay on one strategy. They're just making it slower. To give more time to people not playing that to kill them. We'll see how it plays out. Piloted world with runs needs body has been removed from bringing the body's anomaly. Okay, that's a good first step. I guess that's almost as good as removing the putricide one. New Battlegrounds cosmetics. Battlegrounds is getting in the twist spirit with new wonder steamed cosmetic options. I'll buy it. And we're getting bartender Roberta. Nice. I always said Battlegrounds doesn't have enough cosmetics. We want more cosmetics. I want to support this uh, nice indie game. Okay. Really fun patch. Can't wait. I'll be playing it a lot.